Okay, I said I was going to make you a video of the things that I bought when I was in London. Um, what I thought I'd do, because when it comes to cloth, I mean, I just love cloth, as you probably know. And because I've got it out to show you, and I've been looking at it again, I want to work with it, I want to feel it in my hands. So what I thought I would do, I've got a bit of muslin here. I'm going to put a little bit of work together. And um, This won't be for my cloth, my wrapping cloth I'm making at the moment. It might just turn into a piece of work for me, probably end up as a pocket, because you know what I'm like about pockets. So, the first thing I want to show you is this. Now, I've got some stuff, there's a vintage shop I always go to, and you might think, I've only just come back from a show where I bought a lot of stuff, and I showed you what I bought. Um, so you might think I'm being really extravagant, but I think I should say I'm not really, because if you think about all the embroidery I do, I go through so much cloth. And the show that I go to is once a year, so I don't do that regularly, I do it once a year. And then the cloth that I'm going to show you today, I buy this when I go to see my daughter in London, and she doesn't always have a lot of white, or a lot of stuff, you know, that interests me or that I want to buy. So if I go and it's there, I buy it. But this time, really, I didn't get very much from the vintage shop because she didn't have a lot of what I needed, to be honest. Um, but this is the first thing, and this is my favourite thing. And as you can see, it's not white. It's a cream, and it's got this beautiful blue broderie anglaise patterning on it, this cutwork embroidery. It's absolutely stunning, and I just... I just love it. I cannot begin to tell you how much I love this. And I'm not going to put this down as a first piece because I don't want anything to cover it. I want it to be completely visible. But I just wanted to show you that, how stunning that is. Um, and I'm going to move on quickly because I don't want this video to go on forever because I know that some of you don't like long, long videos. So that's that. Then I bought these. This is a set of uh, tray cloths. Okay. So they're really useful when I come to put my white wrapping cloths together. That was £3, which is about $5, I think. Something like that. So that was £3 for those three. So I'll put that to one side. This one, there's a tag on here, but there's no price on it. Um, I think it was probably about £6, um, which would be maybe $10. But I would have paid more. I would have paid more for that because I love it so much. And then I got this. This is like a dressing table piece, I think. That's really beautiful. There's no price on that, I can't remember. But maybe a pound, a couple of dollars max. You know, it wouldn't have been more than that. And then I got this little handkerchief. She has a basket full of handkerchiefs. Um, white ones. But I've already got a lot that I got last time. This was £2.25. So... Uh, three, six, or eighteen, about three, four dollars, I would say, and this has still got the thing on it, Nottingham lace. So that's beautiful. That'll make some beautiful edges on a piece of work, and I will put probably put a bit of that in here. And then I got this. This was a pound a meter, and I think there's two meters here. This is a vintage trim. Um, so it's two meters here so that was probably about three dollars four dollars something like that so this is all from the vintage shop and then this is from the vintage shop as well this is lovely this is like a tablecloth there's quite a lot of this um so that's what that's like and the price of that is six pounds so again about ten dollars i mean that's just lovely there's so much cloth in there that i can use and in my own wrapping cloths. I mean, even that section there, look how beautiful that section there is. And there's four of those on this cloth as a whole. And then this, um, a friend of mine gave me this. I didn't buy this. Um, this is lovely. Just got this out of the washing machine and pressed it. How beautiful is that? So I haven't bought this. This is something that somebody's given me. And there's quite a lot of it here. And thank you very much, Jill. You know who you are. I love it, thank you, it's beautiful. So I might use a bit of that today. And then we've got a shop in the UK called John Lewis who sell a lot of fabric. And to be honest with you, I love John Lewis and I always go in John Lewis. They're a massive department store, probably like a Macy's or a Bloomingdale's. Um, beautiful house things, beautiful everything, cosmetics, stationery, furniture, white goods, books dinnerware, kitchenware, bedding, you know, all that kind of thing. 
But they've also got a brilliant haberdashery department. Well, I'm going to remove the word brilliant. They used to have an amazing haberdashery department. I don't have one where I live. Um, my nearest one is probably Manchester. But when I go to London, they have one there. So I always go to the one in London. And the haberdashery department, in my opinion, is a shadow of what it once was. They really don't have that much anymore. And the fabrics are the same. They don't have that much anymore. So sometimes I'll find something and sometimes I'll come away with nothing. But I bought this. So this is new fabric. This was bought from John Lewis um, on Oxford Street in London. But this will come in handy if I cut sections of this. Okay, so I'm actually going to cut a piece of this for this cloth so I think the first thing I'll put down because I want to have some of this visible don't I? so I think I'm going to have to put something quite plain along here so that I can then put this on top without losing any of this so what I'm going to do is take the top off this piece that Jill gave me the plain bit without any embellishment or cut work on it and just lay a strip of it across the center just to give me a base to put that beautiful cloth on so that beautiful cloth isn't hidden okay so I'll just trim it off. I don't think it's big enough now. Well, it will be big enough. Because, no, it's not big enough. I'll have to cut another piece. That's because I'm rushing, because I know that this video may end up quite long, and I know a lot of people don't have time to hang about watching videos or listening to me rabbit on about stuff. So I'm not actually going to put the whole piece together, I don't think. I think I'll just start and lay this stuff down so you can see how that beautiful fabric I showed you first might look within a piece of work like this so I won't pin, I'll just lay down so that's that so that's the base on top of the muslin and then I will cut and I don't want to waste this so I'm going to cut precisely with this and I'm going to lay that further down And my muslin boundary is here, so I'm going to cut it to my muslin boundary, not my um, boundary of the cloth that I've just put down there, because I really don't want to waste any of it. So, go up here. Oh, and I'm, do you know what? Just looking at this, I just love it so much. How beautiful is it? Wow! Now I want to go and start sewing on this, like I've got time for that, I've got so many things to do. So that's the first bit laid down. And then I think I'll put some of the stuff that Jill gave me below that, starting here. Um, so, I'm going to have to cut this corner off because it's at an angle, but I'm not going to throw that away, I'll keep that. Because I don't throw anything like this away. It's too precious. It's so beautiful. I'm going to keep that piece. And then I'll get another piece of that. So that would actually go under here, wouldn't it? So it really negates the need for that. But I'm going to leave that in anyway because it's just a different thickness on that part of the surface. Oh, look. <gasps> Honestly, can you believe how excited I am about some cloth? Well, I think if you're looking at my blog, you probably can believe how excited I am and you probably do understand how excited I am. But you would be amazed at the number of people who don't get it. But that's their loss, isn't it? I mean, how can you not get excited about this? And then down here, it's only three rooms. I'll put some of this bought fabric, but that's how simple it is to put something beautiful together. I mean, how quick has that been? That didn't take me any time at all, did it? So, cut a piece of this. I'm on my ironing board again, by the way. I do this on my ironing board all the time because it's a really good height for me. And it stops me getting an achy back. 
so that's that piece of the bolt cloth and I don't want to hide any of that beautiful edge off the stuff that Jill gave me so I'll just tuck that, might need to go under a bit more there uh, now who's not going to get excited about that well you wouldn't be re looking at this blog if you didn't get excited like I said about stuff like that so that's the stuff oh and I also bought um, not cloth but you know doodle do the work I'm doing in doodle do well I was looking I'm just going to move this so I'm going to pin this <clears throat> and then I'm, I'll start work on it but probably not straight away because I, I need to I want to start working on this straight away but I've got so much to do I really can't afford to do it you know it'll distract me so I need to finish some other stuff first so I'll just put that to one side and then so doodle do I bought myself another kind of similar thing but it's not spiral bound it's not as sturdy it was actually quite cheap but this will be getting used at some point as a sketchbook by me okay I'll be putting my work and my embroidery into this and then I found this now who's had one of these I had one of these as a little girl and I can't believe it when I saw it a ladybird book about knitting now I know I had one and the price inside it was actually £4.99 so that's eight nine dollars I don't know my maths is rubbish but they're 15p when I was a little girl we didn't have pence and you know um decimal we had proper pennies like I'm not well it changed over when I was like I was a child when it changed over but anyway so mine would probably have cost 15p so that's got me so excited I had to buy it um so this I should have bought two really because I do want to use this as a sketchbook as well um, so I might see if I can buy another one to keep that could have been me although I had dark hair um, so because I want to keep one for nostalgia purposes but I also want to have one to work in like a sketchbook so I bought those two so yeah there you go I love this little book I hope it brings back the memories for you as well amazing I had one I know I had one so I don't know where it is now but never mind so yeah that's my London treats and as I say I don't spend that much money on myself all the time it's a once a year thing with the show that I go to and then just because I need sketchbooks and I need cloth so when I go to London I have to get them down there because there's very little choice up here where I live okay <laughs>